Hi, this is Damien Leonard, and in this video, I'm going to try to respond to two questions. What is well performance and what is node analysis? So let's start by the first question. What is well performance? Well performance is a discipline that aims to maximize well production. It involves the understanding of well production mechanisms, specifically the well inflow and the well outflow. So the well inflow is the mechanism that describes the flow of hydrocarbons from the reservoir to the bottom of the well. So it is the one that I represented in blue in that schematic over there. Now, what is the well outflow? The well outflow, which is represented in red over there, the well outflow describes the flow of hydrocarbons from the bottom of the well to the surface. For the well inflow, the main concept is the inflow performance relationship or the productivity index. So we say IPR and PI, and it is typically represented on a plot like this one with the bottom all flowing pressure on the Y axis and the liquid rates on the X axis. So on such a plot, the IPR will be represented by the green curve over there. For the well outflow, the main concept is the vertical lift performance, also called VLP, and it is represented by this red curve over there. For a well to flow to surface, you need the pressure required to flow your hydrocarbons from your reservoir to the bottom of your well. You need this pressure to be equal to the required pressure to flow your hydrocarbons from the bottom of your well to the surface. So you basically need the IPR and the VLP to be equal. So this is basically what happens when these two curves intersect. And so at this intersection, you will have a specific flow rate and a specific bottom all flowing pressure. Now, what is node analysis? The well inflow and the well outflow are both parts of node analysis. Node analysis describes the evolution of pressure between two system nodes. Applied to well production, it usually starts with a node situated somewhere in the reservoir and finishes with a node situated somewhere at the surface, so either in your production separator or at your wellhead level. Node analysis is used to estimate well production and the impact of specific action on flow rates and pressure. So for instance, I will use node analysis to estimate what is going to be the impact on the production of my well if I were to increase the separator pressure or close a little bit my choke. So if we take an example on the well outflow, if I know what is the flow rate of my well in my separator, and if I know my separator pressure, so if I know the pressure at these nodes over there, I am able to back calculate the pressure at the bottom of my well. So I can calculate the pressure that is required at the bottom of my well to flow that well into that nodes in my separator at the rate that is currently measured in my separator. So how will I do that? I know that the bottom all flowing pressure required will be equal to my separator pressure plus the frictions generated by the flow of my hydrocarbons across my flow line at surface, plus the hydrostatic pressure due to this flow line being filled with these hydrocarbons, plus the frictions generated by this flow of hydrocarbons across my choke, plus the frictions generated by the flow across my tubing, plus the hydrostatic pressure generated by my tubing being filled with these hydrocarbons. So if I am able to calculate all of these terms, I can measure my separator pressure, then I can calculate what is the required bottom all flowing pressure to flow this well into my separator. So using the productivity index formula, if you know your reservoir pressure, your flow rates, and your productivity index, you can calculate what is the required bottom all pressure in order for your hydrocarbons to flow from your reservoir to the bottom of your well at the targeted flow rate. So as mentioned, node analysis is widely used in well performance. And if you do well performance, 
you will use quite often this kind of graphic. And what will be important for you to know will be to understand how the VLP and the IPR, how do they change when you change a specific parameter in your well. For instance, what happened to your VLP when you change the wallet pressure or when you open a bit more your choke or what happened to your IPR if you change your reservoir pressure. So when you do well performance, it's very important to understand how this parameter will change to understand how your bottom hole flowing pressure will change or how your well production will change. So I hope you now understand what is node analysis and that you will use it to do well performance so that you can increase your well production.